16 Pro Max, and finding a storage solution for when you're using ProRes. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name's Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives, and today I'm gonna go over my storage solution for when you're trying to record ProRes. Now, if you don't know, and you will know now, ProRes will consume a large amount of file space when you're recording it. For me, I really didn't have this problem coming from my older phone, which was the 12 Pro Max, but now that I'm using the 16, I am filming with ProRes because I want to get the most out of this camera and the footage that I'm able to record. Now, there are a few different solutions that you can look at. The first one is going to be adding one terabyte to your phone, which is going to cost the most when you're looking at the phones. Then also, if you are recording a lot, that probably will fill up pretty quickly. So you probably will end up having to find another solution. Looking at those solutions, I found a few different options. First one is going to be mounting a hard drive to the back of your phone. Next one is going to be if you use a camera rig with a cage, mounting the hard drive right to the top of that. Now the third option, which is actually new to me, I haven't seen this before, is to be getting a selfie stick or a tripod or the device you use to hold the phone and it has the memory built into the handle. Now for myself, I chose to go to finding a way that just mounted it to the back of your phone, and that's what we're gonna go over today. Now I did find this mounting solution through another creator, YC Imaging, so I'm gonna throw the credit there. Go ahead and check out his videos, and I'll link the video that I saw below, so definitely go and watch that. It is two minutes Tuesday, and I know I don't do well sticking to the time limit, but we're gonna try. Now this storage device is simply gonna be a piece of plastic with a magnet in it, so you can use the MagSafe, along with a little Velcro strap to hold on your hard drive. Now what this does, it just snaps to the back of your phone, whether you have a case that is MagSafe or whether you just use your phone. And then you would take your hard drive, slide it right under the Velcro and strap it down. And this, again, would just snap to the back of your phone. Now, the reason that I like this setup is because it is compact, it is light and it has minimal parts. For this setup, you have your mount, your hard drive, and then your cable to connect the hard drive to your phone. For the pros of this, as I said, it is super compact and it's super light. I can go ahead and carry just this in my pocket, or I can go ahead and just slap it to my phone and it's ready to go. Now, the other advantage of using this, you can just go ahead and pick whatever hard drive you want and it'll fit right in here because this is adjustable. As you saw, I had my SanDisk in here now, and now I have my Samsung T7 in here. Now for a few cons or just things that I've noticed is you got to make sure that this doesn't get in the way of your camera because I did have a few videos early on where it was slightly infringing on the view of the camera. The mount will not get in the way, but it's the hard drive if it's set too far over. Also, if you do use the original cables that come with your hard drive, they can be kind of long. You kind of tuck them in there and sometimes they can get in frame if it moves a little bit. The solution I found for this is to get just a shorter one, and this is the one I got. If you are interested in any of these specific items, I do have affiliate links down below. If you do use them, there is no added cost for you, but it does help support the channel, so thank you in advance. Now, as I said, I am using this short cable because it's just enough to connect the hard drive to the phone with just a tiny bit of extra, and you don't have to worry about trying to tuck the extra cable in there. Now, something you wanna make sure that you do is you get a hard drive that's fast enough. I've used two different hard drives, and the first one's gonna be this right here. It is a SanDisk Extreme Pro. It's a 3.2 with the 1050 megabytes for speed, and actually with this specific one, I've noticed that I've had problems when I'm trying to get playback. It seems that it is very slow to read back, and I'm not really sure why I am going to try with a few different more cables to see if that's a problem, but that is just something to know. Now, because of that, I picked up this Samsung T7 and I've had no problems with it except for one time. This is also the 3.2 with the 1050 megabytes for speed. And as I said, I've had one time where I said it was too slow, which honestly shouldn't be an issue. That should be well fast enough for this. And that one problem was early on and I haven't had that problem since. So I would definitely recommend getting this drive. Now, if you're really concerned, you can jump up to T9, which is about 2000 megabytes per second, and you just want to make sure that you have a cable that's fast enough. So the only other thing is, if you are using a tripod that has a phone mount, you can't really stick it on the back because it'll cover the camera and there's no real room for real estate on the back end. The only option to do that is to have it from the front. Not a huge deal, but just something to notice. It'll be blocking your view a tiny bit. There it is, and that's my setup for recording ProRes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, you would be able to use this mount on any phone that is MagSafe. I think you can run this all the way down to at least a 12 Pro Max. 
Not that you would really need it for that. I'm, again, using it for ProRes for those bigger files, so that would be the 15 and the 16. If you have any questions or comments about this setup, or you have any suggestions for a better setup, let me know that down in the comment section. And yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.